everybody welcome to the channel original lady eve elements welcome to looking at my ceiling anyway <laughs> i'm filming from a different angle today because not today hoes not today welcome subscribers not subscribers cross watches and the like if you hear noise music in the background anything in the background just notice i am a mom first always and then the business lady second so now we're going to get it popping with the sign of libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, and Jupiter. I am using the Oracle deck by Southern Mystic Tarot. Don't know if y'all can see that. Boom. There it is. Okay. If you see the, me using this deck, just know it's Southern Mystic Tarot's deck. I purchased it some while ago. I purchased it last year. Last August, I believe. So... This deck is pretty good. It jives. Alright, so Libra, since we're reading you, what's going on in your energy for the month of January 2022? January is almost out. We are in Aquarius season, unfortunately. I said it. Um, I'm here in a season of change. Okay. So if in Capricorn season, if y'all was trying to get anything done and you felt held back, that's because one of the planets was in retrograde. I believe it was Mercury. I'm not sure. So Libra, whatever union you, that you are in is fated to separate. So there is a fated breakup here. We have fate and we have union in the reverse position. I don't see you being quite happy about this breakup but oh well and you know what this breakup was caused by fake ass friends of yours people you thought was friends there's somebody in the background we got a sad woman in the reverse position this person ain't sad they happy you breaking up see because it's one of your friends someone you may consider close let me do this <laughs> someone you consider close but see friends reverse that was a fake friend okay we have four or five people you consider your friend in your friend circle. But this one is closest. This one that's close to you, you consider very close to you. Maybe you used to come to your house a lot, chill out with you a lot, be all up in your business and stuff like that, or things you tell secrets to. This person is in the background, okay? They happy about this breakup. They happy about this breakup. They created this breakup. It's faded. It's destined for you to be not be in this union. And I know, like, again, you sad, but you have some fake-ass friends here. We're going to look at this real quick. I want to know who this person is in the background real quick. <clears throat> I want to know. Clarify, Holy Spirit, who is this sad woman in the reverse, this fake friend to Libra that wanted Libra to break up with their person or didn't want this union to be? Where is this? There we go. Who is this fake friend? I got my kids over here hovering around trying to get in the picture. I got movie star kids. Okay, so now got the father, got the son, and got the Holy Spirit. Show me this sad woman reverse. What sign is this sad woman reverse? What is her son sign? I could be dealing with a Sagittarius Wheel of Fortune in reverse, but I'm going to tell you something about this person here. They did this because they don't have no opportunities. They don't have no changes. They don't have no movement in their life. But because they did this, if you realize the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse, this person has bad karma coming to them for creating this unfortunate breakup in your relationship. Whether that is marriage, situationship, dating, whatever it is. Yeah, see? Four of Wands in the reverse. This person created a lot of bad luck, a lot of stagnation. They wanted you not to have a new beginning. Like if you're a person and you severed ties, right? Whether you were married to this person or dating this person, Libra. This sad woman in the background created a rift between you and this individual here, this fake friend of yours, right? Because they weren't happy that you were in this union. So they created this rift and they were, they were hoping, praying, right? That you don't have a new beginning or reconciliation with this individual here. Okay. They created delays and blocks. 
to the person even trying to come back and offer you some sort of uh, prize, some sort of gift. Because the person wanted to come in and reconcile. You could have been dealing with a Taurus. Okay. What else? Yeah. This person you served times with was your soulmate. Someone you grew up with. Someone you knew from a past life even. That came to an end. And it was all because of this person here. You stopped investing time, energy, and money into this individual, Libra. Let's look what else. <clears throat> yeah, just fake it. You got to watch who is your people around you. Don't trust everybody. And people be looking at... <clears throat> what is this? People wonder why some other people are so guarded. And, and like, don't have friends. Like, hello? Who can you trust? We can't trust the one closest to you. <sighs> you want to find out who it is. Again, could have been dealing with a fire sign. But this person... I see soulmate, and I see fate. This person was your destiny. That your so-called person or friend, whoever you considered a friend. This was the third party that was interfering, and they planned this. They were planning. They were sitting back planning. They were planning this possibly three months ago, three weeks ago, three years ago. What else we see for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. January 2022 for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. What's going on with Libra? Ah. We got rich woman here. So I see that you're spiritually wealthy. You're working on things. Some of you Libras out there, entrepreneurs, businesswomen, right? There's more income coming in for you as you go through this BS with the breakup or relationship. As you sever ties with your soulmate. Due to your false friend, I see you uh, leveling up for most of you. Others of you, there's a lot of money that you spent on this friend of yours. I see luxury in the reverse. For others of you, if you didn't spend money on this person, this person just hella mad because their life is going to shit. I said it. They're spending way more money than they're saving. That's why luxury in, is in the reverse. This person is living beyond their means of expectations. Okay? It could even be a family member that you consider a friend that's doing this, okay? I see you coming out of the energy of being anxious about what's going on around you. Love, work, or life. You're coming out of that energy. To me, the anxiety card is the nine of swords card in the reverse. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with regards to this situation with this person here. You need to get out into nature a little more. Again, like I said, you could have been dealing with an earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you consider your closest friend, Libra. But again, get out into nature, meditate more, release that energy, hug a tree. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said hug a tree. You know why? Because I know a Libra who actually is a tree hugger. It's an older woman. Okay. Older woman in the reverse? Yes. Get back that youthfulness. Come out that energy. Start planning, okay? I see someone sitting out in nature, meditating, and get, receiving downloads. And these downloads help them plan a lot of what's going on. Definitely when it comes to business, could be school. There's a lot of planning going on. Yeah, some of you are, if you're still in this situation, ship or relationship or marriage, I see some of you planning to come up out of this betrayal. Some of you are going into healing mode. You're going to be going into healing mode. Planning a way of how to get out of this. Some of you, like I said, it's just one flame. So we got the soulmate card and got the twin flame. I see your twin flame, your soulmate, making plans as well. How to get up out of this betrayal. We got journey reverse again and betrayal. Some of you put an end to this. Your, I see your your soulmate, your twin flame, putting an end to whatever this betrayal is. And I do see three people. One has light hair, reddish hair, blonde hair. One has black hair. The man has like a blondish 
change to his hair or he may dye his hair a different color um someone whatever it is gossiping was i see matrix here but matrix is in the reverse with the matrix here next to the journey card someone needs to do their research and find out because if this separation was caused through gossip someone could have been lying someone needs to look up the information and do more research on whatever this betrayal was to you libra some of you has a lot to do with the sun some of you are feeling lonely loneliness even around a crowd of people you may feel lonely but i do see you eating right because we got loneliness and healthy eating right here some of you are changing your diet confirmation some of you are changing your diet in the midst of just being by yourselves you're gaining peace and clarity with crystals here you're clearing out your energy by eating right once you eat right fruits and vegetables added to your diet you're also clearing up your chakras and you're clearing out that negative energy that was okay some of you clearing out people, places, and things as well. That's why you're feeling lonely. Some of you discovered the lie that this friend was telling you. You also discovered that this friend was being very childish. That caused this rift. This friend, some of you leaders out there, this friend worked for you. Okay? We got rich woman coming out again. This is you, Libra. You're spiritually wealthy. There's a sad woman in the background <clears throat> crying on herself at night. Is this you? What is this sad woman? I've seen Karma Partner in the reverse wanting to come out. I see Date. What else believe her? Someone rising being this month. No. January 2022. Holy Spirit. What else? It's like <clears throat> you may <coughs> go out to date people, but it's really not your cup of tea like yeah i'm not really interested because you're still in the energy of mourning your twin flame your soulmate this could be your soulmate as well but i see you focusing on yourself self-love self-care you're taking care of yourself a little bit more you need to get out a little more and even if you are getting out more don't be so sad about dating other people you can be friends you can create a new set of friends I do see some of y'all are in the middle of relocating or you have relocated to a big city due to a broken contract or broken engagement or broken proposal. So once you sever ties with your soulmate because this fake friend interfered, I see you moving out of the area. But I see you doing your research first. Like I said before, you have Matrix in the reverse or Journey in the reverse. You weren't doing the research that you needed to do to find out the truth behind the breakup and the betrayal with your twin flame. Some of you, this friend of yours, this fake ass friend of yours slept with your soulmate, your twin flame. That's the betrayal. Because if you look at this card here, see the bedroom? This card came out in a reverse, betrayal reverse. With, it's right next to your twin flame journey reverse and matrix reverse. So, again, someone wasn't being honest here, all right? And you needed to do the research and find out why this, this fake friend of yours or friends didn't want you to be with who you were in a relationship with, right? Again, we got research here. I see you doing a lot of research, abundance and research. There's a lot of research going on here. A lot of research when it comes to this relocation or this move, this change. I see you. Once you do, you're leaving the family dynamic. Yeah, some of y'all were married and had kids with this person. Okay. Yep, changing directions. Mm-mm-mm. I see you changing directions here. Stop that. <laughs> I know, right? It's facing me. Anything else for Libra? I'm going to be the first, I tell you. You're coming out of 
<clears throat> some sort of depression. For most of you Libras out there, you're coming out of some sort of depression and anxiety. And as you come out of that, you're becoming more productive and more active. And it's making your, uh, it's bringing a lot in towards you. And I do see luxury around you. I see a new home. I see a new home. There's a new home. But there's no justice. So there needs to be a balance. Like, you need to balance out. There needs to be forgiveness with regards to your twin flame keys popping out. They're stuck where they're stuck at. Obviously. Because it said twin flame and new home reverse. Twin flame reverse and crystals. You're starting to see this person as not being a twin flame anymore. Someone around you is wearing a false mask. Causing a lot of confusion and chaos in your energy. Libra playing with you. Yeah, what's the third party here? What's the third party? Someone smiling in your damn face. New love reversed. The third party. Look. New love reversed. Third party. This person ain't had no fucking love for you. This person ain't had no love for you whatsoever. I see sad man. Sad man. And I see new love. This person, your twin flame, is very sad, sitting up at night, crying in the dark, because this person is worried about you finding new love. Plus, they cry because they got caught. This person is not healed. They up at night. <clears throat> they up at night. This person is healed. Whatsoever. Mm -mm -mm. Anything else for Libra? <coughs> Yeah. What else for Libra? Wait. Uh, ain't no sweet melody. Yeah, like I said, some of you have... Ooh. We have music reversed. I don't know if you can see it. Music in the reverse. Health concern reversed. I'm hearing it's a sweet melody. We have sun. And we have gossip in the reverse. Okay, so there's less talking going about you feeling out of place or there's some sort of disharmony going on around you, Libra, as far as the health concern of your son. Um, this is not out in the public, okay? But there is a health concern that your son once had or your grandson, but I see son here and I see health concern in the reverse right next to it, okay? Son and health concern reverse. So... There's a sickness that your son may have had for those Libras who have a little boy or grown-ass son who's in his 20s to 30s. There's a health concern that this person has. Um, they're recovering from it. Some of you Libras, your son is in the music industry. He had a health concern because we got music. Look, we got music reverse. We have health concern reverse. We have sun reverse and we have gossip reverse. So what this tells me is that if you have a child in the music industry, a son, right? It doesn't have to be a son. It could be a girl, male energy. But for you Libras out there who do have a son, I do see your son recovering. All right. Um, could have been having chest problems, something to do with the chest, upper respiratory disease, possible asthma for most of you. Um, Heart palpitations. Your son may have had a heart murmur. Something to do with the, the upper respiratory. But I do see your son recovering. But I do see your son not doing music a lot. Um, this is something that you're not telling everybody. Gossip in the reverse. You're not even telling close family. This uh, health concern, if it's not the upper respiratory chest or something to do with the heart area, it could be a STD that your older son has caught. Okay, your son's in the music industry. <coughs> yep. Your son's in the music industry. Caught an STD from a karmic partner. A gimme, gimme bitch. Okay. I'm trying to linger on into his energy. And this person has a child by your son. She has a son by your son, Libra. And she gave your son a, a health uh, risk, like an STD. She gave your son an STD. Um... And if it's not the case, your child has a child by this karmic partner here. This person could also be expecting. They could be pregnant. And there's something wrong with the baby inside this person's stomach. 
Okay. There's something wrong with the baby. The baby's born with a health concern. They're going to come out of it, though. But, all right. I see also a new soulmate coming in for you, but you're not going to know that you're an actual person. This person is not going to show you how they feel about you, Libra. For others of you out there. Ooh, yeah. Mm. You're dealing with someone in the public eye. Okay. Social media platforms. They could just be known around the block or the neighborhood where you live at. In either case, this person, your soulmate, <clears throat> is someone in the public eye. Fame and soulmate, Libra. But you ain't gonna know it yet. This person's hiding behind a mask, a fake profile. They may hit you up on a fake profile page. And you don't know that they're famous. For some of you young Libras out there, be mindful. Because this person, I'm hearing pedophile. This person works out in the gym. else we got for Libra? Can't trust these hoes because they iffy. <laughs> Can't trust these men because they iffy. Shit, what you talking about? Men are iffy. Yeah, I do see you being unhappy about something in the house. and I do see you analyzing things going on around you especially when it comes to a father figure or the father to your child but i do see you healing a situation with the father figure someone that was very flighty give me a second because i'm holy spirit mm -hmm. what do we see for libra a couple more cards and close it out because i notice once you get past 27 minutes with youtube they tend to slow shit down yeah, you, things coming to light, you finding out the person that thought they was getting away, or whatever it is they were getting away, lying, cheating, stealing, being sneaky, stealing from you, uh, blocking communication from you, what you're going to find out, they're not getting away with anything, all right, you more in your head than anything, but then so is this person that was stealing from you, all right, you're very, 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 very intuitive. You got the hot card of the high priestess. Can't nobody hide anything from you. You pulled out your card of justice. You weighing it well on your Libra scales, ain't you? <clears throat> With the high priestess and the justice card here, you're using your intuition and weighing out the pros and cons of the situation of this thief right here. And you're seeing it for what it is. Anything else for Libra? Anything else for Libra? You could also be dealing with a court issue where someone lied on you in court and it's going to come out. All right? It's going to come out. Once it comes out in court, the judge ain't going to know what to do with this chariot card. Could have been dealing with a cancer. They lie a lot. Not all of them. Some of them. Yeah, but you could have been dealing with cancer. This card of cancer. All right? This person, this person lied in court. <clears throat> they ain't gonna know what to do. If you're dealing with a cancer or a Pisces, all right, it's, it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out and it's gonna cause a tower moment. We got the tower card of Scorpio here. It's gonna cause a tower moment <clears throat> with the judge. You could be in court for child support as well, or someone that you know could be in court for child support and it's gonna come out that the kid ain't their child. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because this person is very flighty in and out, in and out, in and out this person lacks direction once this information comes out in court it's going to cause a tower moment like I said and it's going to be revealed to whoever this father figure is this Aries is Leo okay, could have it in their chart they're going to be devastated they're going to be very devastated because they're going to find out that this person is a liar. Could have been dealing with a Taurus. There's a Taurus that's going to find out the truth of the matter coming out in a court case. If there's a court case that you're dealing with or someone around you that's a Taurus is dealing with. Because the higher fan is the card of the Taurus. They could be dealing, this Taurus could be dealing with someone with Moon and Scorpio. All right. 
<laughs> with another emperor that's around but not around. This Taurus is about to find out something. In court. With regards to a lie that's going to come out. There's a lie that's going to come out in court. And you you have an inkling. You know what your intuition is going to be on point. Watch. And once that occurs, this person is going to be so devastated, they're not going to know what to do. They're not going to know what to do. But there's the truth coming out in the court case. All right? Yup. And someone's going to try to make an offer to make peace so there ain't no drama in this. Because once that truth come out, shit going to hit the fan that this person is not the father to a child. Anything else for Libra? Yeah. Once they find out, I see that person stopping investing their time, energy, and money into this child. Could be a water sign child, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. This person is going to be blocking them off, but very angry and frustrated that they wasted time, energy, and money and caused them a lot of worries. With that being said, there's a lot of healing coming to that situation. Could be dealing with Aquarius. Is healing coming to the situation with regards to a partnership? There's a partnership coming in. <clears throat> with that being said, peace.